Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip we're going to talk about the discriminant of a quadratic equation. Uh, as you notice we have two quadratic equations, number 51 and 52. Uh, first of all let's see what the discriminant is. Um, This one is the quadratic formula, the famous quadratic formula, negative, uh, x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Okay. The discriminant is the quantity under the square root, b square minus 4ac. So uh, that's the thing we want to evaluate here. So first of all, let's take a look to a. a is 1, b is 4, and c equals 2. 5. Okay, so we're going to plug this value in this discriminant b squared minus 4ac. So this one becomes 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 5. Okay, so and let's evaluate this 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1, 4 times 5. 20. So this discriminant is negative 4. Right. Whenever the discriminant is negative, right, like this one, then we say that we have no real solution. and try number For number 52, end up with the discriminant of 36, which is greater than 0. In this case, we say we have two real solutions. And let's see two more examples. Uh, the same story. We need to find, uh, evaluate the discriminant and then uh, determine based on the discriminant uh, the number of real solutions. So let's start with 53. Okay, so as you notice, A is negative 2, B is 1, and C is negative 28. So we're going to have here uh, b square 1 square minus 4 times negative 2 times negative 28. And to be honest here, you can just look to the thing. This is 1 and this is a pretty large negative number. How do we know it's a negative? This is negative, negative, negative. Uh, it's going to stay negative minus a big negative number. So uh, this guy overall is going to be a uh, number less than zero. So again, no real solution. So yes, sometimes you don't really need to evaluate exactly uh, unless the problem asks you that. In this case, they, they, 
they do. Uh, if you can see that it's less than zero or greater than zero, you can dis determine the number of real solutions just by doing that. Uh, but if you want to finish that, that will be what? Uh, 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 28, uh, 160, uh, 224, I guess. And you notice now is a number less than 0. Go ahead and try number 54. Okay, the same story for number 54. We can just look to the last part here and we notice that this will be a number greater than 0. 49 plus 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 15, that will be 80, 120. So overall 169, which is greater than 0. Um, if you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more math video clips.